Hello again, and welcome to another CJU video, this time using the Oculus Rift again. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, there's been a lot of Oculus Rift games that have come out, but they're all pretty much just sort of copy-paste from other ones, and they haven't really been that uh, sort of original or interesting. Uh, but this one might be different. It's based on what they like to call a mini-opera, which is essentially a 10-minute video made by a, a group of very talented people, who, through their video, show the transition from life to death. Now, this is where it gets even more unique, because after watching the video, they want you to experience it in a virtual reality kind of format. So, as I have an Oculus Rift, I can do this, and that is what I'm going to play. I am basically going to play through an opera. So, before going any further, check the link in the description for the video, and after that, come back and join me in the virtual reality version. Okay then, trying to get all these wires out of the way, right. A mini opera, right, now I just got, <laughs> I always like this bit, got to try and find the keyboard. Uh, about there. Right, yeah, couldn't have gone too far. So I don't know if this is going to be interactive or if this is just going to be like a town of light uh, that I played, like... Um, pretty much just a trailer that I looked through. Wow. Okay, <laughs> it's pretty epic so far. Um... I don't believe I have any control. Ah, oh, I know where this is. This is right at the beginning of the video, actually. Right near the boat. And the tree opens, the girl walks through it, yes. Hopefully at this point you've all seen the video, so you know what I'm talking about, otherwise I'm just babbling like a madman. Very cool so far, I mean very, very, sort of, aesthetically pleasing, very, very appealing. I just think this is a really unique idea. Sort of, going through the lands in an opera. And if you watch the video, you know that some of the locations were fantastic. Okay, so... Am I floating or walking down? I must be really goddamn tall. Although well, I think I'm shrinking. Ah, now, now this is the bit with the girl. Who gets on the boat, but there's no boatman this time. With the, the craziest sort of like, facial tattoos and stuff. So, I, I just really appreciate this. I don't think this has ever been done before, that you, you watch, like, uh, well, an opera, or watch a music video, then experience the music video, sort of, first-hand, in a virtual reality kind of way. Although well, I suppose the technology is relatively new, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first time this uh, works. Oh, I'm having wire trouble. Oh, come on! There's one complaint with the Oculus Rift, it's that the wire uh, connects, like, the the USB to the control box is just so goddamn small. I don't remember this bit. I think it's safe to, safe to say I'm not going to be interacting at all. I think this is just sort of look and admire the work they put into this. Hello! <laughs> this is crazy. What are you doing? Really cool. Oh, there's another one up there. So it's not exactly like the uh, the music video. It's not exactly like the opera. It deviates a little bit. I like that. Because if it was just me seeing exactly what I've seen before, there wouldn't be much point to that. Might want to light your lantern, buddy. <laughs> Are we just going to start floating now? Well, if they can do it, why can't we, I suppose? <laughs> Holy shit, you're big! How you doing? Hi, oh, stop staring at me, that's really creepy! Oh my! Oh, we're going into another portal now, are we? we please stop doing this! That's actually really freaky. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> it's good so far, honestly. What are you doing? What is that, a bush? Unfortunately, I haven't got the uh, development kit too, so it, I have got the sort of lower resolution of this, so it's still kind of hard to pick out small details with the Oculus Rift, but it's still very good. 
quick. Whoa! Oh no! He got taken away. <laughs> wow. Now, now this is where I sort of um, wish that I could interact a little bit more. I want to visit these places properly, not just follow the boat path. I want to go to the top of that tower. I want to. I want to go up there and see everything. Ah, uh, looks like we're going again. Just all one big tease, this. But I'm loving it. I have to say. Oh my, okay. Woo! Pretty damn hot. It genuinely actually is. It's really freaking high outside. It's like 20, like 8 Celsius or something. Right about now. Which is really weird for England. We're going a bit too damn fast, aren't we? Seriously, this looks amazing. People who put together the opera are very talented. People who put this together. Also very talented. And this is what I was looking for. This is unique. This is different. It's not just another slender clone, you know? It's way too many of them. Oh, I'm getting taller again. Or I'm floating. Yep, I'm <laughs> leaving the boat behind, apparently. Ah, oh, this is the end, isn't it? I think. I'm trying to remember the video. Don't go into the light. No, I don't I don't want it to be over quite yet. Let's go back. Let's talk to that big-headed guy who is staring me out. I bet I could beat him in a staring contest. This is this is this is great. If you have an Oculus Rift, just try this out. Just for the guy who just turns up and stares at you. Wow, that is the biggest shock I've had in a long time. And this isn't even a this isn't even a horror game, is it really? Even if you're going through limbo, I can't see anything. Ah, oh. oh, wow, that's it. Well, kite and lightning. Thank you very much. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, we're going we're going through it again now. Apparently, wow. That was an experience and a half. In fact, I'm going to go back in and watch this again. I'm going to look around some more. Thanks for watching, guys.